Now, with the previous data set, birds from a uh, little reserve, nature reserve in IT, and only five transacts. Let's open again my data set. So it's this one. If we have a look, quite simple. Only five transacts, and we can see each column are a species. Sometimes we even low, uh, wrote some birds, expected birds, with the row, the row, the row, but it's not a problem. So here we have the matrix, okay, which is a, with a complicated name, site PME1A, the name of the, of the array. Uh, so here now we are here. If we want to know the basics, uh, biodiversity indexes. So what can we do? First, I will calculate the number of species. It will be uh, useful. You will see why. Uh, in, in, anyway, it was possible to calculate with space pool. Huh? So it's in the previous video, I have only 20, uh, 22 species. But I want this number here, for example. I want all the uh, to count all the data in, with more than one. How many data? How many in each column? I have data superior to one. It will give me the number of uh, species in each uh, line. Okay, so line number one, site number one, I found six species, and then, then two, uh, 11, 11, 11. Okay, this is just because I will need it for another index. Then, if I load the package, the library vegan, the famous tool, very useful for us, how can I use diversity? So if I ask diversity function for my matrix, what do we have? Here we have numbers. Ah, automatically, diversity will provide the Shannon index. Okay, if you ask help about diversity, control R. Health diversity, it will open something, uh, a page about uh, the diversity function in vegan uh, R package. Okay, and then you will have more details. I try to do short video, okay, to do not to be simple, concise, but please have a look if you want more details. So it will open, <laughs> maybe. But what I want to show you, it's if you ask diversity without, uh, if you are not more precise, it will give you Shannon, because indeed you can ask uh, diversity, and you precise, you ask index, Shannon, Simpson, inverse Simpson, etc. etc. I will show you how to calculate uh, PLU, PLU Evans, which is quite nice. Finally, the function help is coming. Maybe one day. Okay. Uh, oh. Ooh. Sorry. <laughs> Come. Anyway. It will come uh, with help about this function diversity. If I call diversity about my matrix and I precise index Shannon, you will see it will be exactly the same. Control R, Ooh, little bug, because going on on the web it's a bit. Make confusion on my computer. Sorry about that. At least now the web page is loaded. So you can see Sharon Simpson, Fisher Diversity Index on Species Richness. You have the main biodiversity indexes. It's quite uh, useful. Okay. Now let's return on R. Uh, and if yeah, I I call diversity index Shannon, you will see this is the same. So diversity without any precision, uh, it's anyway by default 
Shannon. If I ask a precise Simpson, it will give me Simpson diversity index. Okay, and there's Simpson. Et voilà. Ok, so it's not the, the goal for my for this video to explain the difference with Sh Shannon Simpson and etc. But you remember, it's not the same if you have uh, one elephant, one lion, one zebra, and in another area you have five lions, ten zebra, and one elephant. Obviously, the diversity indexes will help you to compare those uh, diversity and also the evenness is important because if you have very um, rare species it's good to have a, a view a good view with the PLU evenness diversity index the formula is actually Simpson uh, divided by the log of the number of species that is why I calculated the number of species per transect so we have five transect if I call it again 6, 11, 11, 11, 19. So if I ask, if I call diversity index Simpson divided by the log of the number of species, it will give me the PLU evenness index. That's it. So you see, if you have your matrix well prepared as in video number two, then you call diversity from vegan package. And you will have Shannon, Simpson, and if you need PLU uh, evenness, which is quite useful. Easy, yeah? no need to calculate. I know uh, you did all the calculations of the formula in previous courses. Uh, it's useful to understand, but now I show to you how to produce, how to calculate it automatically.